A new drug that counters obesity is grabbing headlines and generating controversy right now, but something a little different may be coming down the pike. An electronic pill that stimulates the body to regulate appetite. This story and more on today's episode of Brainiacs. 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 An ingestible device called Flash, developed by Khalil Ramadi of NYU Tandon in Abu Dhabi, along with the team at MIT, delivers electrical impulses to the stomach lining to modulate the hormones that control hunger. So on the surface, it has electrodes, and within the pill, we have some electronics as well as some batteries to basically power these impulses. The gut has the second largest number of neurons in our body after our brain, what we call the enteric nervous system. Essentially, what our flash pill does is tap into this network of neurons to start delivering impulses that can either activate or impede or neural activity in the stomach and the gut. The team aims to begin human trials within five years and says that with further development, the drug-free pill could potentially treat psychiatric disorders like depression or substance addiction. NYU scientists have finally addressed the elephant, hmm. excuse me, gorilla in the room <laughs> by recreating the invisible gorilla experiment that tested people's observational habits. Since the widely cited experiment of the 1990s, scientists have agreed that when we focus on something, like driving or playing a game, we lose our ability to spot other objects within our field of vision, a phenomenon termed inattentional blindness. But NYU data scientists and psychologists recently put that conclusion to the test using a gorilla, well, a person in a costume, that snuck through at varying speeds while observers focused on people passing basketballs to one another. Turns out, the fastest moving gorilla, walking or leaping much more quickly than in the original study, actually became noticeable to observers, casting doubt on the long-time theory. The result was then replicated in a digital screen study with more than 3,000 participants using an unexpected moving triangle rather than a gorilla. These findings may have evolutionary implications, confirming that we have a sentinel system that constantly monitors potential threats from fast-moving predators. Well, there's a lot of biological sense for this. Basically, something that's moving could be a potential life form, could be predator, prey, mate, rival, you name it. But it's something you should probably pay attention to. Time is a critical element in treating brain cancer. Determining the best chance of a positive outcome often means waiting for surgeons to identify a tumor genetic mutations, which can take a month or longer. We have to do specialized treatments to the tissue to look at the chromosomes. Not only does it take a long time, it's not ubiquitously available. That's a dangerous scenario when you consider that a glioblastoma, the deadliest type of brain tumor, can double in size in just two weeks. To dramatically shorten the path to surgery and other forms of treatment, NYU Langone's Daniel A. Oringer has developed a device that uses advanced imaging techniques and AI to predict a tumor's genetic makeup in just three minutes. Deep glioma, the device, is currently in clinical trials and so far its results are 93% as accurate as current methods. Once FDA approved, it could be broadly adapted to diagnose brain tumors and other types of cancer much, much faster giving those facing terminal diagnoses the precious gift of time. For more on these stories and all the latest NYU research, visit nyu.edu news. I'm Jane McLean, and I'll see you next time on Brainiacs.